<laughs> it's insane. So um, you wanna you wanna bring it in? Yeah. All right. Action. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the Weigh In. Today's episode, we're gonna talk about 5G fears. Whew. Holy catness. Well, first off, with the implement with the implementation of 5G, and they're, they should be starting sometime this year, I mean, history, along with the fears of the 5G and the wireless industry racing so fast to get the 5G to work, there's already 300,000 antennas already in place, which is exactly what there is right now for standardized uh, internet. So they're going to get this probably closer to a million uh, antennas to make this work. They're going to have them at every light pole, every in front of your house, the the, the light the light pole outside, the one in front of the pizzeria over it's, here. It's going to be expensive. It's going to yeah, be everywhere. Mind-boggling. It offers speed. I, I can't believe this either. It offers wireless speeds 100 times faster than anything we have today. That's insane. That? And, and this is the thing that people don't understand. Not, there's no free lunch. There is a cost to everything. So with this faster speed, with this new 5G technology, there has to be some detriment. There's a, it's, it's, it's built into the way nature works. And that's the thing that's, that's got me scared. Well, I think a lot of people are scared, I think. And, uh, but here's what's interesting. I mean, as we know, the previous cable that we see is all done on like fiber, fiber optics and different coaxial yes. cables. That's all buried in the ground and running on the poles. Yes. This stuff is all wireless. So this, there's way too many... If you can have infrared uh, glasses on or something, there's way too many freaking beams going in and out of your face and your head every day. Yeah, here's the thing. Human, They're everywhere. Our DNA, our RNA, our human physiology. Sure. We've never had to adapt as a species to this amount of radio waves and frequencies that we have right now. Yeah, we, that form of concentration. Yeah, we're, we're able to deal with UVA, we're able to deal with the light, certain carcinogens in the air, everything that was around since the dawn of and time. You, you mean the, the current status right now? Yeah. Before the, 5G? Yes. Yes, yes. Now, this new 5G, we're not, we weren't, we're not equipped for, like the human body wasn't designed to deal with this shit. One of the problems with 5G is that it's untested. I know, that's bizarre. And they're just trying to put this shit out. Without even testing it, they're just like, yo, this is the new greatest thing. Your phone's going to be faster. Your laptop's going to be faster. But it all comes at a cost. Oh, no doubt. Look, There's, in, in recent years, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, 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 no go ahead, go ahead. Uh, you've probably noticed in, in recent years when people have been dying of cancer, we're, I've been hearing brain cancer deaths a lot more frequently. Yes. Yeah. i never heard that before. It's going up. Yeah. I mean, that's and what they're talking about right here. They're saying because of the, you know, there is there has been some evidence that's shown that uh, the association of the cell phone stuff was a cause of some brain tumors, which is what we're talking about. Yes. Well, this, I think, could actually lead itself to a lot more brain cancer. Yeah. It could be cancer in general. It's going to become a pandemic because it's going to... It's, it's too much radio. It's too much 5G frequency radio waves out there, which is going to happen. And everybody's talking about, oh, it's going to connect everybody globally. Everything's going to be faster. There's going to be more job markets. But this shit is scary. It's it's scary. Yeah. Well, they, they mean all the wireless companies that are around right now that run all the th you know the spectrums and all these different things that run yes. a lot of the business. I mean, a lot of companies are going to get hired. I think that's how they're actually determining there's going to be more jobs. Everybody has to put a receptor up somewhere near. You know, uh, like I said, a light standard or a pole or your or your mailbox. Or so you think it's going to be more in residential areas? That's what they're saying, right in front of your house. Not only is that aesthetically ugly, you know, like well, they're small. They're going to be just attached to like light poles. But you've seen them on top of certain buildings. Yeah, they look like they're almost like kind of like a speaker. They're kind of look look foamy looking and whatnot. Those are the big ones. But they're going to have smaller ones. So if there's 27 like on a block, a normal standard block, if there's 25 in a row, let's say there's one in, every, in front of every house. That's how they're getting the speed because of the shorter distance of the information and the data to travel. Now, do you think that the, um, the, the younger generation, like the millennials and the Gen Zs, like the ones that are coming up, since they came up in the digital age, since they came up with uh, cell phones, internet, that they're just going to accept it, they're just going to be cool with it, like, 
they 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 don't warrant any fears. They just say bring it on. I think, bring it I think on, they've bro. already still get, they've already accepted the current form of wireless without any any qualms. Right? So they're just gonna usher it in with yeah. arms open because they they believe that everything they're told and they're sold is is good. Like, but it's we not. grew up understanding that things aren't always good. Yes, we you have to question authority. Then there's a lawsuit and somebody takes it to court. And they realize okay, it's not good. Look at the big stink on uh, like. Um, Gas wells and stuff and that kind of stuff. Yeah, that there's a lot of people fighting it. Well, yes. this is like a gas well for internet, right? For for wireless, let's say. They're just accepting it. Nobody's protesting. Nobody's in court. It's bizarre. Yeah. There's no, there's no security right now. So there's no, there's no commission. There's no board. There's no oversight committees. There's nothing. To, there's nobody checking in on this 5G. Everybody's all which, excited about it, which is mind boggling. Everybody's like, yeah. Bring it in, and it's like it reminds me of like Star Wars, where like the Emperor took over, and it's like this is how like freedom gets lost with with the sound of thunderous applause. Everybody's clapping like 5G. The, one article that I read was talking about cybersecurity through 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 the new system. Through the new system, that it's going to open up a whole can of worms where. People are going to be able to hack a lot of different things a lot easier and a lot so faster. So it doesn't even everything's not in place there. It's, it doesn't have a security in place or blockers. Nothing. Can, how can there be blockers? There's no blockers. There's no way to block it because the technology is so new. Like they're not even waiting to test it. They're just saying once we develop it, once we get the then materials, they'll, they'll, they'll we're putting it out. It. That's yeah, bullshit. You can't do it after the fact. It's 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 not gonna it's not gonna be safe like that. Because once it's out, the hackers are going to figure out, sure. and then like everybody's at risk. Well, you see what's happening right now with the current wireless. There's tons of people being hacked, and their accounts being hacked and whatnot. So what happens is they try to fix it. They, they now Here's what they do in America, or the world, I should say. When something goes wrong, they find a way to fix it. They don't yeah. try to fix it before the problem, because they don't even know the problem. So like you just echoed, with the new 5G, they're going to let it happen. Then they find the problems, and they fix it. Tons of people are going to have their accounts stolen, their bank. Everything's going to be all Identity effed up. Identity theft. It's social be engineering. Same thing again, you know. I mean, along with success or technology comes a boatload of bullshit on a on a more dangerous scale. And like you mentioned, also on a, on a dangerous scale, um, just to mention, um, some people have also brought up the fact and. Um, how do I word this exactly? Okay, homeowners is probably the best way of putting it. Okay. A lot of homeowners homeowners are actually starting to say that what they're worried about is if they start having all kinds of shit in front of their house and everybody's got a tower, they're worried about the property value going property down. Property values being affected. I never thought about that, but it makes a lot of sense. It does make a lot of sense. I have um, a lot of people don't like don't like it, but like I have it like files. Which which I'm fine with files. Files is lightning fast for me. It's, but it's a actually lot quite of, good. I have it at the store here. Yeah, but a lot of people don't like files. Well, they don't. Everybody's got a bitch about something. Yeah. You know, I, I mean, Spectrum's offering real good prices. I had somebody do a price uh, price comparison between like you know your uh, your VIOS from from uh, Verizon. Yeah. And what Spectrum does, even all the shit that they talk on TV, when it all shakes down, they all necessarily need to get a very similar price. And Craig was telling me all he's going to save is about thirty dollars a month. And Craig looks into this stuff. Yeah, yeah. When you see the ads on TV, you look like you're going to you're going to be saving fifty percent. He says it's really sort of like nobody really wants to give up all their money, but they make it look like they're going to give you all these great speeds on TV. It's a bunch of bullshit, is what Craig says. And I trust Craig's knowledge on that. No, no, Craig. Craig's definitely. He's and deep Craig's into a good that. friend of ours. He's Craig's a tech guy. A, yeah, phenomenal fellow. Craig's a super tech guy. You know, lastly, I think, uh, I shouldn't say lastly, there's always more to talk about, but, I mean, a lot of things is people always like to connect to is, uh, we already talked about Big Brother's already watching. Right? Yeah. Everybody's snooping. Big, big, big Brother's snooping around. Well, Big Brother is actually going to be in your living room now. Yeah. Big Brother's going to be there all the time. The... The, every TV and every phone you think is recording your audio through Google, because they're doing it anyway. I mean, I find this to be the biggest intrusion there's ever been in this digital world. Yeah. Once once again, and we're letting it in freely. Yep. You know, like like every it's like everybody on the world signed off on the Patriot Act. Like, go ahead. Go please, ahead. No problem. Take, take all my information. And people don't understand, like, like with this 5G technology, it pretty much... Like, if your cell phone works better, the equipment and the instruments that the hackers use and all these people that, that go around on the dark web, right. all their equipment gets better. Sure, sure. So for the novice layman guy like me, you and me, where, you know, our phones are being hacked. 
Without they're getting help. information. Yeah, yeah. They're getting money. They're getting credit card numbers, social security numbers, like all with ease. Like, don't get me wrong. If you go back to our previous episode on AI, I am a pundit for AI. I am not a pundit for this 5G. And one of the reasons why I'm not a pundit for this 5G is, you know... This is all human inter inter interaction mostly. It's human... Humans are causing this. It's not yeah. the AI. Yeah, humans are doing this. And once you have a human, you have an agenda. And once you have an agenda, you have somebody that's concerned about their own welfare and not yours. To me, that can never be good. No, it's never good at all. I mean, look at it this way, too. Let's say, um, let's say you're a neo-Nazi. Let's say you are... Extremist. Uh, extremist. Let's say you are a transsexual liberal. Let's say you are uh, about to do something really bad. You're about to maybe commit a murder. Okay. Um, doesn't matter what you're doing. You're going to planning a bank robbery. Um, or even if it's like you don't believe in Jesus Christ or whatever it might be. Okay. I think because of this technology, in the future, this is kind of sci-fi like, but you've got to think. Are you talking m minority report? Yep. Wow. Think about that. Wow. I mean, remember, science fiction is always written about fiction. People prophesy, uh, authors yes. prophesize in the form of fiction, right? Yes. But what happens is the science of the world and the technology that we live in, fiction, science fiction becomes science fact, and then science fact becomes science reality. That's crazy. Yeah, because they're going to know everything you do. So now they're tracking your social media accounts, yeah. your Facebook, your Twitter, your Instagram, YouTube, whatever. Yeah. Now they're, now they're tracking your buying habits. Now they're saying, hey, we've seen a, a certain amount of variables that say that you're about to rob a bank. We need to talk to you. We need to see you in the office. So maybe they, so maybe they commission and they legislate some new laws. We can now arrest you. I know. That's what I'm, that's what I'm worried about. So we, maybe you're going to do it. Maybe you're not. Maybe you're just researching it. But now... They start adding the numbers. The numbers look a certain way. This you're high, guy, you're high this, risk. You're high risk. You're flagged. They lock you up. There's no trial. Sounds we, like a modernized Nazi Germany. Yeah. We have the data right here. I know. Why were you looking at the, you know certain things? Maybe you did it. Maybe it was dumb luck. You, you you bought a little bit of this. You bought a little bit of that. And now you know. But you Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, that's the tail. That's that's the tail end of the conversation that, that I just wanted to bring up at the end. I'm not trying to. We're not trying to be alarmist. We're not trying to be at the end of the day. Uh, you know, like the uh, doomsayers, or whatever. But you have to think about, like you brought up in the episode. It's all about the bottom line. Is always about greed. It's always about money. It's not really about humans. It's about. It's about the, who can do what they want to do in the end. Look at the current status. Now, I don't mean to get political, but just look at how feisty the country is nowadays on both sides. Yeah. Everybody's all fired Talk. up and whatnot. Talk to them. Let's just say uh, one side or the other gets a little more extreme than the other, and they get more power than you could possibly believe. They look at data through 5G, or who knows what the hell 6G would be about, but through 5G, and all of a sudden, um, gays and liberals and people of color are locked up. Uh, Black bagged. It's not good. No. I mean, I, I, it sounds it, very alarmist, but it's a very legitimate question. Now, there, there are a lot of people, like, a lot of high-ranking people that want this 5G technology to be delayed. Like, they're urging the government to, you know, to stop these things. You know, um, Secretary of Commerce, uh, Werber Ross, you know, and NSA Administrator Jim Burdenstein, yeah. like they they want the FCC to pay more attention, but nobody's really talking about it. Nobody's really like urging the government to stop this, and the government's not stepping in because it's all about lobbying. People are being paid off. The five G lobby is so powerful and so wealthy; it's not even funny. Yeah, because that's every telecommunication company out there. It's not like a little guy in the area that runs like you know a, a little cable company in, in Pittsburgh. You know, that kind of crap. This is big. Yeah, and everybody that's pushing this are billionaires. Yep. This is the the top 1% of the top 1%. Like, so Mr. Robot shit, you know? It like, really is. It really like, is. Like, Evil Corp, you know? Like, these are people, like, who have an agenda to make money. So anything that's going to make it, like, th to me, this is the genie, and I may have said this before, but this is the genie that you can't put back in the bottle. No, you can't. I mean, look at this way. Um... As the, the, the people who were the richest, remember it started off at like 10%, then they were the 5% of the richest people in the world. Now it's supposedly down to about 1% of the richest people Which in the world. Which is crazy. No, it's it's insanely crazy when you think about it. When you have that much wealth, anything you want goes your way. 
Think about it. It anyway. does. So the lobbying behind this, this is the this is bigger than when TV was invented in the nineteen fifties. Yeah. This is this is the biggest thing we've ever seen. And I can't believe how everybody's just laid back and taking this so graceful. And because the they love the uh the ease and the and the comfort of what the cell phones can do and the tablets and everything. Not considering the the, the revocations yeah. and the seriousness. It's like boiling frog theory. Like if you put a, like if you if you have a pot of boiling water and you just throw a frog in, the frog will jump out. Yeah, yeah. But if you put the frog in and you slowly heat it up, it will sit there and die. I you know, love like that. that's it, amazing. Yeah, and that's what's happening to like the American people and everybody around the globe yep. with this five G technology. They're slowly gonna like push it in on us. Yeah. And we don't even know how bad it is. This is some Age of Ultron shit. Not to get all comic book <laughs> shit. Well, I'll I'll end with like this is the the biggest bamboozlement we've ever seen of all yeah, time. Yeah, it's scary. So look at that's um, that's Henny Boy two and Henny Boy one. We're gonna yeah. be signing out, folks. Uh, look at please, please Make, like us. Yeah, please comment, please subscribe, and and do your own research on this five G because it's crazy and it's coming. It will be an epidemic. Uh, it's something that's close to our heart. We're not trying to just necessarily scare you, but we want you to we do some make more you research. Aware. Yeah, and we're real proud that we're able to bring it to you. And uh, all I can say is, over and out, brother. Over and out. Again, you are dazzling me with some of the greatness that you bring to the show every week. How to be fearless chasing your dreams. Yes. Dude, unpack this for me a little bit, and then we'll break it out even further. Okay. And uh, please introduce. Yeah, so how to be a fearless man when chasing your dreams. And, you know, and right now, as of currently unaired episodes, like the first episode, like we talked about The Rock. And how he said that the current generation right now is a little bit of a snowflake generation. So with this episode and maybe a few more episodes down the line, I want to rewire men's brains to be, you know, fearless again. Because a man has to be fearless. You know, to be a man, you have to go out into the environment, into the world, and, like, you have to display dominance. And there's so much courage that you have to have oh, yeah. just oh, being yeah. a man. You know, like I want, I want, I, I want to drum up like the 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 drums of war, and and they get men to feel that that man up in them again.